But I think this is the push that we've been needing. We got to get that poison up for those minions. He's going to stop it at the bridge. That was well played. But my Royal Ghost is invisible right now. And it's going to connect on the tower. But the Mega Knight isn't going to drop it. He's not. That might be good. What is going on guys, Not Far From Gaming here, or Jacob, and we are back once again playing some more Clash Royale. And today guys, before we get started, and I show you guys an insanely good Royal Ghost deck, I just want to say I'm not showing you the same Bridge Spam deck that everyone else has been showing you, because that deck, while it is good, I think this one's better, and it actually has been winning against that deck, so... Uh, maybe it's better, maybe it's not, I don't know, who knows, but uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, whatever you guys celebrate, um, I wish you guys the best of luck uh, and spend lots of time with family throughout these next couple of days. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the deck that everyone has been showcasing and like featuring and it's actually really good, I'm not going to lie. Basically what you do is you start off with the Ice Golem or you throw the Night Witch in the back behind your tower and then you throw the Ice Golem this, 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 basically you just uh, some, some bridge spam these four cards right here and then the ice golem tanks forward so this is actually the deck that i'm going to be showing you guys which actually has been beating this deck um it's actually really good and um i mean i think it <laughs> my brother just invited me to a 2v2 um but i think it's really good and we're gonna go ahead and hop into i believe a brand new grand challenge i just finished my last one at nine wins so i think it definitely has potential to get 12 i haven't gotten a 12 win yet mostly because i have only tried once um, but I know it's good because it's been destroying all those golem decks. So let's go ahead and first wait a second enjoy this weird clip of me doing something stupid in Walmart Yeah, that was in Walmart actually that was a place called Royal King It's a it's like a place where a bunch of like uh, hillbillies go or whatever What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. I am so confused. What was that guy trying to do there? He just threw everything down. Cloned it, mirrored it. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I'm kind of scared to play this guy now. Um, okay, yeah, that's an easy tower right there. Plus, we got the Inferno Dragon. Let's go. Um, Inferno Dragon's obviously going to take out the Golem once I put it down. And he's got the Zap, but he put the Zap a little bit too early. That tower's donezo. Ooh, he's got the Inferno. Not cool. Not cool. So, we'll go ahead and place this bad boy back here. And we'll go Royal Ghost over here to smack away at that. And then we'll go ahead and... Should we pull this to the tower? Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy to the tower. Just so we don't get that uh, that pop damage. Um, so let's go Ice Golem right here in your face. Oh, I messed up. It, it's okay. It'll still push it. He's going to clone his Golem on the tower. Uh, that was 10 out of 10. Never been played any better than that. Uh, so ideally with this deck, you just want to build a push. Maybe with the Inferno Dragon in the back. Um, this guy is playing outrageous though. I'll tell you that. We're just going to go Random Graveyard right here. Um, it should tank like a shot or two. And he's got the Fire Spirits, the Skeleton Army. Let's go ahead and poison that Skeleton Army. Let's go ahead and poison that Skeleton Army. <clears throat> predictions with jacob <laughs> i don't know why he played that i already had the poison down but it's whatever guys we already got that tower out and he's got a golem deck but it's not a very uh it's it's original it's very original i give this guy credit for using this deck um i mean i think he could play it a little bit better maybe starting with the golem and then uh like the wizard <clears throat> instead of trying to clone every single troop that you have at the last possible second so let's go with the royal ghost okay this guy's going for it all i'll tell you that let's go like this like this poison it boom and we should be able to take that wizard out that's my goal uh ooh, royal ghost killing it let's go inferno dragon right here he's gonna place his electro wizard down so let's go like this and like this so the electro wizard can't hit it ha i gotcha and it's gonna uh destroy that okay so that was actually really well played on my point um so basically the electro wizard obviously can only uh attack Two things at once so what i did was i decided to just block it off basically uh so let's go ahead and we're gonna try to get another uh tower right here let's go with a graveyard uh infernal dragon maybe let's try to get this other tower come on I'm, i want i want those crowns for my crown chest give it to me there we go um so that's gonna be a 2-0 victory right there against a very um interesting we'll use interesting very interesting deck uh from david there so let's go ahead and not waste any time we're gonna straight hop into another one 
Right there, we're going up against James from Dark Warriors. James is my middle name. That has nothing to do with anything. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and drop. Let's let's see what he's going to drop. Ideally, with most matches, if you're going to try to go like high in grand challenges, like if you're at like nine wins or something, typically you want to let the other play, person play a card. And uh, I have a feeling this is going to be the bridge spam deck. This is where it all shows down. If he, if he okay, yeah, definitely, 100% is going to be a uh, the bridge spam deck. Um, so let's go and drop the mega minion to help take that out. Let's go ahead and poison this bad boy right here, and uh, just just let it go. Um, try to take this uh, out right there, and it looks like we are okay. This isn't going to be the bridge spam deck. I spoke a little too soon. So let's go with an ice golem. And then we're going to go with the Royal Ghost in the back in a second. Oh, so he's got a, an Inferno Dragon coming in. Kind of interesting, honestly. This guy's uh, playing some interesting cards here. Let's go ahead and Tornado this. And we'll drop the Royal Ghost a little too early. Just kidding, just kidding. That was actually well-timed. Uh, but he just sort of got a little bit of damage. Let's go ahead and drop this right there. And that was a bad play. I should have waited for that to cross the bridge. Um, because now it's going to lock onto my Royal Ghost. Go Invisible. Yes, it's going to retarget. Nice. Okay. So we're not doing too bad. He's got the Mega Knight now, but that's okay because we got... Um, did that lock on? What did it lock on to? Ooh, that's not good. Let's go ahead and Tornado that. Okay, so we actually uh, defended that pretty well. That actually scared me a little bit. I thought it was going to jump on the tower, but it didn't. So this guy's kind of got in a unique deck. So I'm, I'm going to give him credit for that. He's being unique at least. Um, he's trying to be a little different here. So let's go Ice Wizard right here to help with these skellies because they will one-shot him. Uh, so that's good right there. But he doesn't know we have the graveyard, but he's got the minions and the Ice Golem uh, to defend my graveyard. So we kind of got to play it right here. Let's go Royal Ghost. Ice Golem, obviously, because Royal Ghosts don't don't uh, like each other particularly. particularly. Uh, so, oh man, I don't really know what to do with this. I, I don't want to like... Just switch up lanes because I know it's going to hurt me in the long run. Let's go like this. Oh, that hurts. That hurts quite a bit. Alright. Alright, I think this is actually going to be the push right here that we go in. Let's go like this. Poison. That might have been a little aggressive, honestly. We don't have anything tanking for those troops. He's just going to drop in, uh, another Mega Knight right there. So we got a little bit of damage, though. And uh, he's got an Infernal Dragon coming in. Let's go ahead and drop another one back here. I think he just zapped that. Um, I could be wrong, but I think he just did. Let's go ahead and drop it right next to it, actually. And we'll go ahead and pull all this over here and drop an Ice Wizard over here. Hopefully it jumps this way and we go to this tower now. Nice. Okay, so... Uh, I can say I'll, I'll deal with that. Let's go graveyard in an awful spot. We'll go ahead and poison it also. So I think that's actually going to do a good amount of damage. He's got the Mega Knight now. And um, that's good. He had to use his Mega Knight instead of the minions. So we actually got a decent amount of damage uh, right there. Let's go Mega Minion. Uh, we'll go Tornado up here, down here, around here, over there. Let's go Royal Ghost right here. Oh, that one barely locked onto that right there. All right, we're going to go graveyard right here. This is going to be pretty aggressive. Um, but I think this is the push that we've been needing. We got to get that poison up for those minions. He's going to stop it at the bridge. That was well played. But my royal ghost is invisible right now. And it's going to connect on the tower. But the Mega Knight isn't going to drop it. He's not. That might be good game right there. It is going to be good game. Well played. Um, definitely a, a tough match right there. That guy had a really unique deck. I'm not going to lie. Caught me off guard a lot. But we did end up winning in the long run. So that was really good right there. Um, and let's go ahead and drop into, uh, hop into another one, uh, just to see if we can get another, like, variation of a deck, maybe a golem or something. Oh, this guy, Jokering, oh, dude, this guy, totally, I went to high school with him, he's got a different deck, I already know it. I think he's gonna be running a golem deck, or a hog rider, I think it's golem, though. Yep, 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 that's what he was telling me back in the day, but let's go ahead, drop that mega minion, uh, he dropped the ice golem for the mega minion, uh, kind of in a bad spot, dude. Is this guy running a Lava Hound? I hope so. What's he got for that? What's he got for that? Nothing? Oh! <gasps> I told you guys I went to high school with him. I Did I tell you or did I tell you? Holy cow, that was such a great guess. I mean, uh... uh yeah. 
Uh, so we actually played that kind of bad. Let's go ahead and poison this. Hopefully he drops something. Yes, he dropped his archers in it. That's good. Uh, that was well played, well played, well played. Let's go like this. And we might have to tornado this bad boy to the tower here. We are going to almost melt it. Let's go ahead and pull it back so at least the explosion damage doesn't hit. Uh, so that's good right there. And this baby dragon shouldn't be too bad of a mess right here. It should lock onto the ice wizard, I would assume. Yes, it is. All right, so that was actually really well played. And guys, I can't... Dude, predictions with Jacob are on point today. Uh, I'm loving it. So let's go with the royal ghost over here because he didn't counter it last time. He watched him drop the mega minion for it. Golem. Dude, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. All right, let's go uh, Inferno Dragon back here. That was kind of aggressive. This guy should have a pump in his deck. I'm not going to tell him how to how to play, but um, I feel like he should. So let's go uh, Ice Golem, then Mega Minion so we can take his out. And uh, I don't see a, a Lightning or a Zap or anything, a Fireball, like any direct damage in this deck. So I think we're definitely going to go with a pretty nice push right here. Uh, sorry, man. Let's go with this Graveyard, and that should be tower right there if it locks on it did lock on inferno dragons are going to lock onto the dragon i'm fine with that take that dragon out ice wizards locked onto the tower this should be a tower for sure yeah definitely and we got someone cheering for us let's go royal ghost over on the right side to um put some more pressure hopefully he drops his golem again he's not <laughs> that's actually going to take both of those out and do damage on the tower that's why i like the royal ghost because it does a splash damage and i meant to drop that on the other side but that's okay um 39 seconds he should have dropped that at the bridge and threw like a baby dragon behind it because he's not going to have any time at all and he doesn't have his archers so i don't have to worry about them all i'm worried about is the uh mega minion coming in which i can just go like this and distract and we'll go up here again and we'll go ahead and pull everything and uh we'll go ahead and poison this as well Ooh, ooh, ooh! great poison right there and that's going to be game right there against uh apparently i went to high school with him apparently so that there we go guys three and oh that was actually really great uh great variety of decks i mean we had let's go ahead and look back at them so we had the golem deck obviously which i called which is on point right there so we had the uh the mega knight um kind of like skeleton barrel combo i don't know what he was going for there and then we had another golem so we kind of had two golems but at least we know that they're taking them down that first golem match was uh kind of weird that guy didn't know what he's doing it looked like so um, here's the deck one more time guys and if you enjoyed I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and I will see you in the next video. Peace